Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to cover a bunch of free stuff available right now, including a great free Steam game and Dirt Rally. That's been free before, but if you missed out on it for whatever reason, it is free once again. Deep Rock Galactic is a great game, and it has a free-to-play weekend right now. Plague Tale Innocence was one of my favorite games of this year, a game that's a little bit of a hard sell, given that it is $50, or it released at $50, and it's a story-driven game, a little bit shorter of a game, but now you can play the first chapter of the game free because of of a free trial, so I want to highlight that as well. And then Steam has gotten a pretty major update with the store discovery update. A lot of changes made with that, and we'll talk that at the end of this video. But first up, Codemasters Dirt Rally is available free right now on Steam. This is a great off-road racing game, and Codemasters has become one of the standard bearers for racing games. Of course, they are working on the grid reboot right now, but they are mostly known for Dirt, and Dirt Rally is a great game. Touted as the most authentic and thrilling rally game ever made, road tested over 80 million miles by the dirt community it perfectly captures that white knuckle feeling of racing on the edge as you hurtle along dangerous roads knowing that one crash could irreparably harm your stage time game was received very well i played it quite a bit way back when it was released but since then it's gotten a litany of updates released all the way back in december of 2015 this was actually one game that people would go to to benchmark video cards and whatever the case may be an 86 on metacritic which is a very positive score very positive all-time reception as well off of 22 2,780 Steam user reviews, 87% positive, and Dirt has been one of those racing game franchises that's always been very good on PC, so if you don't have Dirt Rally on PC, now would be a great time to add it to your Steam library, again, available directly on Steam, and it'll give you an idea of what Codemasters is all about ahead of the release of Grid, which I believe is out next month. Okay, so also, as far as free offerings go, Deep Rock Galactic is enjoying a free-to-play weekend right now. This is a really great game. If you play the game multiplayer. If you go into it just playing by yourself and not with friends, you're not getting the most out of this game, but as a four-player cooperative FPS featuring badass space dwarves, 100% destructible environments, procedurally generated caves, and endless hordes of alien monsters, it is a ton of fun. The base game is available free to play for the weekend, and there is a weekend deal, 35% off for 1949, and it is still in early access, so bear that in mind if you do see some issues or whatever the case may be, but if you have a couple of friends, get them all to download this game see what it's all about and you'll probably like it so much where you'll want to end up owning the game as well so again that's available as a free to play weekend requirements are pretty acceptable and accessible as well gtx 460 and hd 5770 as minimum requirements 2.4 gigahertz dual core and 6 gigabytes of ram recommended 2.4 gigahertz quad core 8 gigs of ram and nvidia 970 or an r9 290 so a little bit higher end as far as that is concerned but only a 3 gigabyte install so that's pretty good Dirt Rally, by the way, going back to that game, is a 50 gigabyte install. At least that's what it's touted as, so that's kind of heavy. And the requirements are still relatively high for a game that's as old as it is. Uh, R9 290 or an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 780 is recommended for that game, so just be mindful of that as well. Okay, I want to really talk about A Plague Tale Innocence, however, because that is a game that I really enjoyed this year. A free trial has been added to that game, and it is on sale right now. It's 33% off for $30, so that's a pretty good deal. 3014. But if you want to try out the game and see what it's all about, a free trial has been added to the game as well, and that'll allow you to enjoy the first chapter of the game absolutely free. And this is very much a story-driven game, a little bit on the shorter side, but it has you follow the grim tale of young Amicia and her little brother Hugo in a heart-trending journey through the darkest hours of histories. Hunted by Inquisition soldiers and surrounded by unstoppable swarms of rats, Amicia and Hugo will come to know and trust each other as they struggle to survive against overwhelming odds. They will fight to find purpose in a brutal, unforgiving world. It's set in 1349 as a plague ravages the kingdom of France. Very emotional moments and it really hooks you from the get-go, so this isn't one of those story-driven games that takes a while to build. Right off the get-go, you are really entrenched and absorbed into the experience, so I would definitely give that a recommendation. A high-quality title, and a lot to like out of that one, received very well by the Steam community. 4,334 Steam user reviews, 94% positive on that, so just shy of having an overwhelmingly positive reception, and an 81 on Metacritic, which is a pretty positive score, although that 81, I think, is a little bit underrated. If you go into this game just expecting a rich story, captivating characters, and all that kind of stuff, I would say that this is a game worth an 85 or even as high as a 90. Is it incredibly strong from a gameplay standpoint? No, but the elements it tries 
surprised to hit. Asabo Studio did a really good job hitting those elements. So try out the free trial. That is great. So a lot of free stuff added again. Dirt Rally, full game, absolutely free to add to your Steam library right now. Deep Rock Galactic, free for the weekend and 35% off. And then Plague Tale Innocence is enjoying a free trial and that'll be available forever. A game that didn't get a lot of attention when it was released, but a high quality title and I would definitely say give it a chance. All right, moving on from all of the free stuff, Steam has also gotten a major update in the store discovery update. Today's Steam store's update features several algorithmic changes and bug fixes in an effort to be more precise and more diverse in how Steam presents games via tags in the recommendation feed, as well as the more like this and the recommended for you sections of the store. Previously, when customers would look for games by browsing the recommendation feed at the bottom of the homepage or the more like this sections, they weren't seeing as many different games as we would have liked. Furthermore, we were receiving lots of feedback that recommended for you felt too biased towards only the most popular games and didn't feel very personalized. We wanted to determine how to respond to this feedback, so we went in search of bugs and decided to run an experiment. We found some bugs such as the similar by tag section of the recommendation feed, which had a bug that top rated games, a category that doesn't change very often, were driving too much of what players saw. So obviously, that's just a sense of the rich getting richer and the poor getting poorer. It's not really promoting games that are having a hard time being promoted and games that are actually common to a lot of other games. It's just promoting a lot of popular games where the majority of people already know about them. That's always been a little bit of an issue on Steam, but hopefully with this fix, it does drive more attention to some of these lower key titles. They noted that they changed that and they also found that in some places, their time skill used to calculate popularity was too narrow, resulting in unpredictable visibility for some games. So we expanded the time period we use in those calculations. In changing these areas, we wanted to ensure that we were showing customers a diverse diverse set of games while keeping the games relevant to them. Would they engage with those recommendations? In other words, would they click through? Would they wishlist these games? Would they buy them? To answer these questions, we made some changes to how we show customers games in the places on the store that are driven by recommendation code, bundle that up with our bug faces, and shipped it to 5% of customers to test for the past few weeks. I actually wonder how they do it. Do they just quietly implement this without telling customers? Or is this something if you're participating in the beta program, then it's effective? I don't really care. I don't find it a big deal if they're trying to change the search algorithms and how things are working for specific users if it's for a short duration of time and even not notifying the user, although some people might have some backlash towards that, whatever the case may be. In these changes, recommended for you became less biased towards popular games and showed games that are more relevant to individual customers. As it turned out, customers in the experiment group were more likely to click on the games shown in the recommendation section at a rate of almost 15% higher than the control group, which is actually pretty solid. The increased personalization means there is an even greater variety of games being shown in this section and customer impressions are more evenly distributed among them. To get a feel for the breadth of titles that were being visited, we measured how many games members of the experiment group visited via the recommended for you section compared to a sample of customers who were not in the experiment for a few days. The results were very promising. We saw a 75% increase in the number of unique games visited and a 48% increase in the average visits per game. That is a sizable sizable increase. So as far as an update goes, good on Steam for implementing something like this because this doesn't inherently affect them in any way. Although if they sell more games, obviously they get a more sizable cut, but really for the development studio, that is a big deal because now smaller games are going to get even more attention, even more notoriety. And hopefully that means they can sell some more games. Store areas driven by tags such as more like this saw increases in purchases and wishlisting across a broader set of games. It shouldn't come as much of a surprise, but by increasing qualitative specifically and showing a wider range of titles, more customers found things they didn't know they wanted. We're encouraged by these results and have now rolled them out to everyone. We continue to make changes and run experiments like this in order to improve Steam's existing features while we also explore entirely different ways for customers to find games they love. If you head over to Steam Labs, you can use one of these new methods, the Steam Interactive Recommender Experiment, with a few clicks we're confident you're going to find or rediscover a game that interests you. As we keep working on discoverability, we encourage your feedback on these store-wide changes as well as the Interactive Recommender. It's immensely valuable and helps guide our continued work. So that is the entire post from the Steamworks group. This uh, story was going around a lot of different places, but a lot of people weren't crediting the official Steam post, and they went over everything pretty in-depth, so I wanted to read that as a whole. And even though this is a change that maybe you directly right away aren't going to notice the ramifications of for the entirety and the usability of Steam and discovering high quality games. This is really great because I always hear it in my comment section, yo, 
This Steam sale has nothing of interest to me. I own every game I want. Maybe that's the case. Maybe it's not. Although Steam has north of thousands of thousands of quality titles. Yes, there is some shovelware there, but there's some high quality games present as well. And the idea should always be, let's just get visibility on all of these games. I mean, there was that really cool strategy RPG that just released a couple of months ago, and I totally forgot all about it. It's in my wish list right now. But a game like that, where I completely have forgotten the name of it right now, that's the kind of game that if you don't have these games visible to people at all times and have them adding these games to your wish list, well, then they're just going to get forgotten and thrown to the wayside and get lost in, you know, the storm that is Steam and game releases. So the idea should be always to get these games as visible to as many people as possible. Obviously, it's going to be a reality that some titles are just going to fall through the cracks. But if you can mitigate that as much as possible, that would be the best outcome for everyone involved. And that's going to conclude this video, guys. Again, Dirt Rally is available free right Right now on Steam, Deep Rock Galactic free weekend on that 35% off and a Plague Tale Innocence. The first chapter of that, a free trial, is available as well. Steam got some cool updates to round things out. That's going to wrap up this one. If you guys have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comment section down below and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting, but as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.